Hello everyone and welcome to the Wednesday vlog for April 6, 2023. And last week there was some bloodletting, ironically on April Fool's Day. ABC had announced that a whole slew of game shows that they use for summer fun and games and also during the fall season this past year have been cancelled. Match Game, which hadn't produced a new episode since the pandemic started, in 2020 actually I haven't produced a new episodes since 2019 that got canceled had a good six year six season run and I just think it just ran out of gas although I should say dead did end on a really nice amount of episodes 69 episodes and you could break those up into half hour episodes that's 130 uh, 138 games of match game which Hey, take what you can get. It's fun times. Also being canceled is the Celebrity Dating Game, which didn't really care for, and apparently neither did the audience, even though Zoe Deschanel and Michael Bolton actually did an okay job. just wasn't for me. Apparently not for the audience as well. Sorry. Uh, Card Sharks. One of my favorite shows is Card Sharks. The original Jim Perry version, uh, the Bill Rafferty version, and the Bob Eubanks version is one of my favorite shows, which has been done dirty before with the Pat Bullard version. I mean, I'll give Joe McHale's version credit. It tried. I mean, you had the original look. You had the original song. You had the original logo. Set looked great. And it was fantastic, and the improvements that they made from Season 1 to Season 2 were much needed, and it was fantastic. However, Card Sharks at 10 p.m. and 9 p.m. doesn't work. And I just think time has passed it by. You're going to have to do a lot of tinkering for Card Sharks to be successful in this modern era. I just don't think it's enough nowadays. And then you have, which I think is the biggest disappointment that it got canceled, and that is The Hustler. A show that was smart. A show that was funny. A show that had a great host and a great look and a great format. Undone by, once again, a pretty bad time slot at 10 p.m., I mean, when it comes to a light-hearted show, yeah, even the sirens outside are pretty mad that The Hustler got canceled. Anyway. It had everything going for it. And unfortunately, just didn't happen. Got canceled. And there are other shows that we don't know the uh, status yet. I mean, Pyramid has started pre-production right now that's going to be airing in the summer you have pressure luck which just started casting so we we're getting a season four of that and i'm just talking just abc for right now uh in a recent interview um michael strand said to tell the truth got renewed for season seven which i could completely understand super cheap to produce and it works quite well doesn't need to get really high ratings for it to be justified so it's gonna stick around for a while a celebrity family feud i don't know the status of that one just yet i would assume that it's gonna get picked up again sorry really early in the morning when i'm recording this also celebrity wheel of fortune i don't know what the status is on that that has to be picked up. That got killer ratings. And ABC would be really foolish to let that one go. Let's see what other... Millionaire. Uh, haven't heard anything from that yet. Um, so that's a possibility that that one could be canceled. But we don't know just yet. Holy Moly got renewed for season four. Which, that's going to air in the summer. And that is going to be one of your staple shows for the summer. It's like Wipeout. That thing is going to 
go on for at least a couple more seasons. At least until ABC decides to change course entirely. And not have any more summer fun and games. Which I don't see happening for a while because the shows are so cheap to make. And it's just a money spinner mostly. Um, Jeopardy primetime, that's going to go on. I don't think you're going to get a college tournament this year. You might, but I could definitely see a tournament, the Tournament of Champions becoming primetime. I just don't know how you're going to divvy it up. If you have 18 players, there is a proposed 18-player tournament of champions format that's been floating around. I don't think that's the case. I think they're going to stick to the Trident 2, 15, then 9, then 3 for a two-game final. I can honestly see that happening, and it's going to be interesting. And as far as we know, Bachelor's coming back. That's a given. Don't know what's happening with Dancing with the Stars. And that's essentially it for ABC. As for the canceled shows like Card Sharks, Match Game, The Hustler, Celebrity Dating Game, I don't know what happens. Maybe they get picked up by NBC to pair along with Password. We don't know. I guess it's the uh, standard tune in to find out. And we'll finally know what's going to happen with Match Game, Card Sharks. Those can be moved. I don't think Celebrity Dating Game has got a shot. Hustler, I think, could get picked up. But who knows where that's going to go. Anyway, I'm just getting tired of all the talking about cancellations. And we're going to talk about some more because we got syndication that we need to talk about. What could be changing in the landscape. So you might want to look out for that for a bonus vlog. But that's going to do it for this uh, special Wednesday vlog. I'd like to thank you for watching. Leave your comments below on what you think about the canceled shows of ABC. Uh, where do you think Match Game, Celebrity Dating Game, Hustler, Card Tricks, where they might end up if they get moved or if they're just going to sit for a while? Uh, thumbs up the video, you know, because of the ratio and, you know, all that fun stuff. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, be sure to do that. Get And click the bell when you know, when you get a notice. And you'll get a notice when new videos are coming up. Also, if you want to support the channel financially, become a Patreon backer at patreon.com slash gameshowgumbo. I am Cindy Seidelman, and we will see you next time.